Hello everyone, and welcome to part 6 of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh my gosh, oh no, 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 no. You came out too early, I didn't even hit the capsule yet. Oh, wait a second, that's right. Sonic hit the capsule first, so the ghosts are set free no matter what. Well, that explains everything. Um, but anyways, um, we are now in part 6 of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and... Uh, we're almost done with the game. Uh, just this part, and then, um, part 7. And then it'll all be over. But still we gotta do extras. But either ways, I am ready to be done with this game, and I hope you guys are too. But now that we're Knuckles, we can glide over here, and we can grab... The big ring, the special ring. <laughs> big ring. I almost forgot what it was called for a second. Sonic, I mean Knuckles, got all super emeralds. Now Knuckles can be Hyper Knuckles. Which is uh, sort of better. But not too much better. Um, one thing about, um, one thing that's actually different about Hyper Knuckles is that when you glide to a wall, um, depending on the distance, you can actually um, hit the wall and cause an earthquake. So, um, that's pretty interesting. But you've gotta be a little bit distant in order to do it. In order for it to work. Otherwise, if you're close to a wall, then it'll just be regular land on the wall thing. For the stupid Scorp. Always attack from behind. Okay, uh, the huge rolls are getting bigger. But yes, um, like I said, since Sonic has already been here, and he has hit the swish, the capsule, to let out all the puteros, uh, let out all the ghosts. Um, the ghosts are already set free as Knuckles comes, because, of course, Knuckles comes before Sonic. In this game, anyways. Now, um, going hyper Knuckles wasn't actually intended, I just wanted to lay on the wall. Oh, and you can climb faster, but, well, I guess Super Knuckles can already do that. I don't remember. But yeah, um, Sonic's 25th birthday has already passed three days ago. And I have not made a single video in almost two weeks. But we really need to get done with this game. Fast. Because I know you guys are getting really tired of watching this. I mean, a game like this should be done in at least two weeks. But I guess that just depends... I guess that just depends on the commentator, I guess. But oh well. I'm trying to hit the switch to turn the lights on. And I have ran out of rings. Too bad. Oops, where are we? Got ourselves a one up. Okay, it's getting darker again. Hopefully this doesn't mess anything up for us. 
because it won't. Watch out for the scorp. Let's see if there's anything up here while we're at it. I don't think there is, but if there is, only Knuckles can reach it. Well, if not Tails. And we got ourselves a bubble shield, which we really don't need because there isn't any water. So we really don't need it. But it, it still makes well for protection, anyways. Now, before we can actually hit the switch, um, we have to well, go over here first. Let's see what's down here. There's nothing down here. Now, what we actually want to do is head up here and hit this switch. I mean, destroy the sandlock or whatever it is. And then. Uh, wait for my self in the past to even recognize it. There we go. We gotta slowly, slowly move this thing. You, you would think that considering that we are playing as Knuckles, the thing would move faster because Knuckles is a stronger character. Okay, that thing's not gonna hold long, so let's get going. I thought I could get through there, but that's okay. We should have enough rings to destroy this boss fast. Come on, we're just annihilating this thing. That was too easy. There goes the egg golem. And there goes Sandopolis. We never have to come back here again. Lava Reef Zone. We should have enough time to beat this whole entire act. I mean, zone, anyways. Both Act 1 and Act 2. And I, I can already tell you right now that there's not even a boss. There's not even a boss for um, Knuckles to go through. Now, I keep hitting this thing, but... It's not really going down, it's not being destroyed or anything, it's just still there. So, my guess is that no matter how many times you hit it, it just never goes away. Well, that was pretty bad. Just have to find another way up. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. What? I can't believe that. <laughs> that toxic mister just destroyed me. That that was really savage. I mean to think that the fog can take away my rings. 
as it is, and then just getting hit by it, and then just dying like that. I would consider that a glitch, but that's just how it is. That's how it's programmed. But yeah, to escape the mist, just spin dash. Or just destroy the toxic mister. Or Toxo Mister. I mis I mispronounced that. My bad. Whoa. Watch out for those big spikes. And the spike balls. That fog is not going away. Okay. I don't care if I lost my rings. It's not. It's not that I had enough to go super to knuckles. I mean, knuck, uh, hyper knuckles, anyways. So well, here's a secret passage that knuckles can go through. Whoa, watch out for the fireball. I said watch out for the fireball. That was a close one. Alright, we reached the boss, the mini boss, I mean. Now we're actually going to fight this thing without breaking it, because even if we are hyper knuckles, we still can't reach those things. We can't reach the balls. Now for some reason the boss is called Heat Arms. Well I guess these are the arms and whatever this thing is, I guess it's a hand. But mainly you want to get rid of the arms before having to deal with the hand. You can still get some hits on it. But I would rather take out the arms first because they're probably the main threats due to their projectiles. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, uh, wait a little bit, and when it finally stops, um, get out of the way before it slam dunks you. <laughs> Not slam dunk, but just crush you with his big gigantic fingers. I don't know what I was doing right there. But it doesn't matter. Knuckles got through Act 1. Lavery Zone Act 2. I'm not sure if I uh, mentioned this, but the music in Lavery Act Zone. I, I mean. <laughs> what? Act Zone? Um. Lavery Zone Act 2. Um. is very peaceful. It's so. It's so good. Once again, watch out for the Eggman capsules. I mean, Robotnik capsules. Oh, look at that! Another area Knuckles can go through. I 
I guess um, Knuckles' um, story is more speedrunnable than Sonic is. More speedrun worthy. Because, not to mention, it's actually shorter. I mean, not only is it actually shorter, the story, but um, so many shortcuts. I did not mean to go there. Uh, but never mind. Um, on the bright side, I did get a lot of rings during that um, bonus stage. Now we can go Hyper Knuckles. Now, unlike Sonic, Tails and Knuckles can go super even if they do have a shield on them. But Sonic can't because he has elementals when it comes to the shields. Even if you have over 50 rings and you got all the Chaos Emeralds, you would still have to wait to, uh, to lose your shield in order to go super. So um, there are some ups and downs to it. Um, on the bright side, at least Sonic can actually wait in order to go super if he wanted to. But Knuckles, I mean Tails and Knuckles actually, actually go super whenever they want. And they might do it unintentionally, unintentionally because they might be wanting to fly or glide. And then you have to go super in order to do it. So, um, yeah, very unintentional. But not as unintentional as Sonic 2, where you just go Sonic, go Super Sonic automatically after jumping. So, that's really no big deal compared to Sonic 2. Let's see if we can actually finish this stage with Hyper Knuckles as Hyper Knuckles. Okay, we're, we're blasting through this pretty quickly. Yep, we're almost there, everyone. And I will see you guys. Pr uh, well, not yet. <laughs> The video is not over yet. We still have to get to, uh, go through Hidden Palace Zone. Yeah, that's basically it. I will see you guys in the final part of Sonic 3 and Knuckles.